Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Ruin. I run the place. Did you miss me? Welcome back to your turn to die. We are running around in uh, the safe slot right here. We just picked up some nice stuff from the, uh, from the, 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 the obstructor that's in here from Maple. And, uh, we're doing all right. Having a bit of a lovely time going around trying to recollect all the things we needed to collect. Anywho, let's get ourselves a move in here. Uh, we have among our things just these here. Can we get everything out of here? Actually, this is a little loud. Mm hmm. There we go. We get this book. This is a borrowed book. Uh, it's watering flowers a pain. Sorry, isn't watering flowers a pain? If you have love, even watering can be fun. Uh, let's see. What have we got here? So is looking right at Midori. <sighs> looking at this painting makes my heart ache. I'll become a true murderer if I must. Hey, that So guy seems pretty obsessed with Midori. Yeah, he just keeps staring at it. Huh. Painting with an unpaid section. I can see borderlines. It's like a coloring book picture. Use the paints. Yeah, we got paints. Okay, let's try painting it. There we go. All right, it turned out great. Whoa. Ta-da! The painting! Not bad. There must have been a device that reacted to the paint. My efforts painting. Wasted. <laughs> kind of funny. Oops, sorry. So is looking right at Midori. Hmm. Let me see you real quick. Everything is super loud. There we go. And I should be able to Put my volume back to normal now. <laughs> Sorry guys, I keep winding up pulling things so that it makes noise. But there. Alright, uh ba -ba. all right, pull the lever then I guess. I think this is the power for the elevator. Okay, let's switch it on. Yeah! Doesn't seem to have been a trap. Let's check the elevator. The elevator is silent. Has it been activated? Push the up button. It worked! It actually worked. What do we do? We'll just have to call everyone and try it out. Right. Let's go then. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, so I guess we need to go find people. Hey, Sarah. KG, so you were here. Yep, since Skin was getting eager. <laughs> I'm the leader, so I gotta search hard and keep my subordinates checking out. Skin, your subordinate? <laughs> That's me. We've quickly fallen into an inverted relationship. So, have you learned anything? Not a thing. Well, come to the elevator. We're not- we've got it working. That's our Sarah. I'll be there. Suit and specs. You come along too, now. Uh, right. Wait for me. I heard a click near my feet. Hmm? Stepped on something. Uh... Yeah, suit and specs, are you floating? Whoa. 
<laughs> Suit and specs. What's going on, you? What's with this trap? We have to save him. Oh. Uh, let's see. Can't breathe. What is this? Suit and specs. What the? This trap. Calm down. Stay calm. Hayasaka is hanging from the ceiling. Now he shouldn't need to breathe. Uh, let's see. Observe the situation. Hayasaka is hanging from the ceiling. I don't know what I should do. First, let's observe and see what's going on here. Uh, maybe we should step on the floor switch again. There's no way to deal with this. There's something we can do. There's nothing we can do. Huh. Considering what we know, that's interesting. He must be getting pulled by thin wires, you know? We just have to untie them, Wolf. Nah, it's magnetic. Almost certainly. So, this is probably the right option. If it's like before, there should be tools to solve the puzzle. But this time, I don't see those anywhere. I know those lockers won't open either, so what exactly? Please, hurry. Hayasaka is struggling. My neck... My neck hurts. Someone help! Uh, I guess we go with this. Where was that switch? I'm looking around, but there's nothing. And who knows what'll happen if I step too much further into the room. Oh, crap. Hayasaka is struggling. I'll save you, Nyo, suit and specs. Yin stepped back into the room. Nyo! Gin! Not good. This room's dangerous. It's magnetism. The black plate on the ceiling is pulling in their collars. No way. That's practically... Like they're being hanged. There's no way to deal with this. There's nothing we can do. Ah. Oh. Well, that's the only... Hold on. We have to go with this. I'm telling you, you can't do anything about this. We've never given up before. If we think about it, surely... Just saying that doesn't make it true. Suddenly, there was a mechanical noise. Uh, uh. Ow. Are you okay? And Gin, too. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Midori. Sorry, that locker room trap was for an execution, see? I didn't intend to use it, but it looks like it malfunctioned. I hurried to stop it. Are those two okay? Gin's unconscious. So he's alive. Oh, goody. We can still play plenty more. What an awful man. How's Gin? He hit his head on the ceiling pretty hard. But thanks to his hood, the wound's minor. But if he'd hung for much longer, he would have started to suffocate. He would have died. That was no malfunction. He just wants the dummies to... Huh? Hey, what do you... What, what do we do with him? Leave him somewhere? No. If an obstructum finds him, he'll... Hayasaka, you carry him. M me Gin's your boss, right? All right, I'll carry Gin and come with you. It's safer to be in a group, too. Understood. All right. Well, I guess we kind of got through a trap. Where 
Where'd the other people go? Whoa, Sarah, look, the elevators are working. Yun, hey, what happened? Don't tell me, Hayasaka. Relax, okay? Gin's just passed out. Nothing to worry about. Focus on the elevators for now. Right. He's gotten used to taking some bumps. Let's hurry up and go. Now hold up there. Is it really okay to get on these things? Indeed. Left and right elevators. It may be possible only one is a, one is a trap. <laughs> ride whichever one you like. Try your luck. Which one should I ride? The right elevator. I'll take the right one. Then I'll go in the other one. Just get in whichever one. Let's move. Still beside ourselves with fear, the elevator doors closed on us. And slowly, we began to move. Unsure of what awaited us, we moved forward. Oh, more papers. Looks like we arrived without incident. Hey, long time to see. Good, so you arrived safely too. <laughs> if only something had happened, huh? Guys, Midori might be on this floor. Be cautious. Right. There's paper on the ground. Wonder what this is. Is everyone well? I'm getting very bored, so I wrote you this letter. I'll give you a map, so please come meet me soon, Midori. What a weird letter. By map does he mean... Yeah! Sure enough, it's a map of this floor. This is where we are now. So you can switch between floor maps. Ain't this a school? Attending school feels like it was such a long time ago now. I think this is the same room from the beginning of the game. I think. There's a bag on the desk. This is my school bag. For real? Should we look inside? Renmaro opened the bag. What's this dog mascot thing? Renmaro, could you let me have that? Huh? What? What? what is this important? Just do it. What is that exactly? It's Joe's little pocket dog, but she doesn't remember him. If it ain't Sarah's, then is it maybe... That Joe guy's? Why do you know that name? I, I just heard it from Midori. Joe, who in the world is that? Strangely, I don't feel the urge to find out. Feels like there's a lid on my brain. Give me that and don't say that name again. All right, fine. Don't give me that scary look. Is Keiji angry? There's a green book. Sure sticks out. There's a piece of paper stuck to the blackboard. What is this? Consent form. This thing. <gasps> What's the matter? This looks familiar. What in the... Where have I seen something like this? I signed my name. KG? I see. All that time ago. Was it for this? What the? Everybody but me is... Are they remembering the past? Their memories with Midori? In that case, why am I not? I feel just a step away from remembering something. But the important part's all hazy. Maybe we'll find out if we proceed. Might just be hell once we learn, though. It's over here. Eh, not again! Hmm? The same room as below? As well? Careful, everybody. 
Seems a bit cleaner in the other than the one downstairs. Yeah, it almost feels like an unused room. A small speaker is installed here. It can be removed. Hmm, wait. Isn't that a new voice recorder? I've seen that somewhere. Huh. Might have got a voice recorded on it then. There's a switch on the back. I'll press it. Press the switch on the speaker. This is the first trial. Huh. You have five minutes. If you cannot escape in time, you lose your life. You are not alone. Your fate is tied to someone you cannot see. However, if you refuse this connection and are willing to betray them, you can leave safely. Follow the voice in your heart. That's the whole thing. As is expected, this room was used for our first trial. Ugh. Sarah? What is it? When I try to remember, my head hurts. I can't just run away. I need to... someone else. No, my head hurts. Don't force it, Sarah. KG? It's no good. Leaving it is... leaving it this hazy. Hey, dummies. Have any of you guys figured, heard this recording before? Nope, not at all. We only saw the moment of our deaths, see? Yeah. That's the start of our trial, was cut from the video. Can't remember anything just before we died. Ah, uh, you see. Something up, Alice? No, it's nothing. Likely just my imagination. Alice is the one who had this trial, and he killed his partner by running away. If this is also a hint related to our memories then we might need to have a discussion of our first trials again. Obtain the voice recorder. Something's lying here. A transceiver. Obtained a transceiver. If we had the other one, we probably could use it to keep contact. This is my, do you copy? Maybe a little bit like that. Yes, this is Midori. Thought of a way to kill me. <laughs> See you later. That made my heart stop. Looks like the other transceiver is with Midori then. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll explore these other ones, and then I'm going to call a little early. Is this a police box? Kind of makes my heart pound to visit here. Mm-hmm. The inside of the police box is pitch black. Not even a single desk. It's completely empty. The inside of the police box is pitch black. A park, a police car. Doubt there's any fuel. The door's open, though. Hmm, there's a license on the seat. What? <laughs> KG? <laughs> yeah, sure enough, this must be the place of my memories. For your pl friendly policeman. Huh? If we need memories, I guess I gotta tell you now. You remember the story I told you about why I wanted to be a policeman? Yo, kiddo. Hurt yourself again? Ah, it's that patrolling geezer. I usually prefer Mr. Policeman, okay? I'm not a geezer. Leave me alone. I just tripped. <laughs> what a fibber. You got in a fight, right? I saw it happen. Uh, drop by the police box. We got tasty coffee. Huh? So that's why you started punching. I mean, those guys were making fun of me. Fist of justice, eh? I'm fond of it, but that's not really nice. Why not? I was just in the right, wasn't I? Exactly. The more right you are, the less reason to stop you from throwing hands, right? But cops use force to stop criminals, right? At times, sure, but... 
Well now, kiddo, could it be you want to be a policeman? So what if I do? Well, huh. Did you see your friendly policeman and want to become one too? <laughs> Not a problem. Kiddo. No. KG, you've got something nice for you. I've got something nice for you. Huh? It's Mr. Policeman's good luck charm. That thing you're always carrying? Ain't it important? Yep. It'd be trouble if I lost it. <laughs> then I don't want it. And like, isn't this thing meant as a wish for safe childbirth? Yep. Because Mr. Policeman's going to be a dad soon. Hmm. Okay, let's do this, KG. When you can become a policeman, come bring this back to me. What? <laughs> well, duty calls. Come visit sometime, KG, and don't leave your coffee next time. <laughs> hey, I can't make any promises. I've got my hopes up for you. So, yeah. <laughs> Never thought the day would come I'd tell that to somebody. KG. Oh my. Oh, we can just dunk on him, but we won't. That's the first time you've willingly chosen to tell us about yourself. Guess it is. Maybe I wanted you to know about it, Sarah. Huh. And here I was, quite sure that this place was got ripped off whenever I got up to violence. Here I was, sure this is the place I got ripped off whenever I got up to violence. <laughs> ah, what an awful memory in comparison. And so this is where he got fined. Inside of the police box is pitch black. Not even a single desk, it's completely empty. A parked police car. Okay, guess onward. So many books, is this a library? Pretty complex for a library. It's like a maze. If you don't want to get lost, just use the map. Simply don't go in any improper directions. There's an unnatural gap in the blue books. Unnatural gap in all the books. Ugh. What's guessing who it- Guessing Hayasaka's one finding it familiar this time? Un only this computer is turned on. This desktop. Maybe there's some sort of information. I looked at the screen and saw an image being displayed. Isn't this a picture of me? Uh, that's... What is this? Height, weight, everything from blood composition to allergies. It's like a physical exam or something. Um, can we stop looking at that for now? Hayasaka, he knows about this. Hayasaka, what's the meaning of this? Hold on, I didn't research this because I wanted to. Oh, so it really was information you researched. Oh, shoot. I'll confess. The company I work for deals in medical machinery and information, and... Because of that job, I got to know a man from Asanaru. Huh? On the surface, Asanaru is an upstanding company that does clean research. But I learned that it has another face. Another face? They're connected to shady business and produce illegal medicines, things of that nature. I even heard rumor that among those were drugs and euthanizing medicines. I also heard about inhumane research that wasn't to be spoken of. Thinking about it now, that's probably research into reproducing humans. And so you just gave them my information? Yeah. Not just yours. I was told to get information on everyone. Don't tell me that covers us too. I didn't know. I had no idea what they'd do to me if I resisted. Their power is too immense. It's hardly even an exaggeration to say they control the dark side of society. Shut up! Where'd you use this data for? Depending on your answer, I might just have to kill you right now! <laughs> Mm, what are you doing, Meow? 
Skin. Why am I being carried around, Wolf? No, let me down, suit and specs. Ah, uh, sorry. Good for you, suit and specs. You stopped the stealing trap, yeah? Uh, um. <laughs> we were able to stop it thanks to you, Gin. I knew it, yeah? You shouldn't be great. You should be grateful, Wolf. Thanks, Gin. <laughs> Look, took the wind out of my sails. I've been saved. <laughs> I'm the leader, Nyo. It's only natural, Wolf. You're a big man, Gin. Come here and show me that wound. Come to think of it, my head kind of hurts, Nyo. Do something muscle- Do something muscle, Gorilla. Huh. I was nearly scrapped by my allies there. All thanks to Gin. He seems fond of you. Is he really? Even though he calls me suit and specs? Yeah, maybe because of that, in fact. When we first got here, there was someone else in the suit and glasses. That was Professor Mishima. It wasn't for long, but Gin and, him, Gin and him acted together. But he died. Yep, killed with his collar. Still not sure where his head is even now. Oh dear. Think of it. From Gin's perspective, it was the first time he'd seen a person he had conversation with die before his eyes. Couldn't he have been saved? Maybe he had regrets like that. Is Gin associating me with him? And that's why he tried to protect me? Maybe so. What an idiot. He nearly died over that. For the sake of someone he barely even knows. When I'm not even human anymore. <laughs> doesn't that part... Doesn't seem that part matters to Gin. Let's go. You don't want to get separated. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, we've now explored all of the upstairs. We've seen all the different things. Huh? Looking at that map, we've been everywhere on this floor. Huh? Where are you, Midori? Strange. We should have been here elsewhere. Is there somewhere we didn't go? Is there somewhere we haven't been yet? Like a secret room? Say? Come to think of it, I feel like floor 5 is strange compared to floor 4. It's this spot here. Here it is. It has the exact same layout as Floor 4, but there's no center room on Floor 5. Maybe it's not just drawn on here. Or just not drawn on here. Huh, a good theory. Seems like the thing these puzzle-loving people would do. If it's the same layout as Floor 4, there's only one room that connects the center. The library. Alright! Well, we've now explored everything. We gotta go get the uh, secret room next time around. But for now, we're gonna call it. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you had a lovely time. Please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, because I love to hear from you. Very interesting seeing things in So's perspective now, and uh, I am I am so stoked to see what comes of it. And, uh, <laughs> gonna be all kinds of fun. Anywho, I shall see you in the not-too-distant future. I know you're gonna miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye!